Kathy Bingaman, and thanks for joining me for chair yoga from the St. Joseph County Commission on Aging. And our chair yoga class is about a 45 minute long class. We do uh, some wonderful stretching and some slow breathing, a little bit of meditation at the very end, and hopefully you'll get a really good stretch and feel good to go on with the rest of your day. To do our class, as you can see, I'm in exercise clothes, so you need something that's comfortable for you to move around in, okay? Uh, today I have some yoga socks on. They are, they have little grippies on the bottom, so they're like socks so you don't have to be barefoot if your feet tend to get cold, because mine do. And they help you grip so that you aren't sliding around. It's not like socks. You don't slide around in them. You have the option of wearing little grippy yoga socks. You can go barefoot, or if you feel you need a little bit more stability, go ahead and wear your socks and tennis shoes because you can do the class in tennis shoes if you prefer. Also, you will need a chair. Mine doesn't have any arms on it. We use the chair to help us balance when we stand up. And we also do the majority of the class sitting on it. You still get a really good workout sitting in the chair. As you can see, my chair is on my yoga mat. You don't have to have your chair on a yoga mat, but I'm on a wooden dining room floor and my chair might slide. So I put the mat under my chair so that it doesn't slide. If you're on carpet or a rug or something, you probably don't need that. Another thing you may need is some water to drink. Um, I really recommend during the class, whenever you want, go ahead and stop and get a drink. It's very important to stay hydrated. Even if I don't stop and get a drink, you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure that when you're done drinking, you put your water out of your way so you don't spill it, trip on it, slide in the water, whatever. So get your water out of the way. All right, so let's get started. Uh, you don't need any other equipment, um, you know, just your chair, and we're going to get started. So you're going to back up to your chair so that you can feel the chair on the backs of your legs. And then when you know where the chair is, go ahead and sit down. Wonderful. The first thing we do in chair yoga is work on our breathing. Your breath is very important in yoga. You do your motions, your movements to your breath. It really helps, and it also helps in the rest of your, your weekly life um, when you're stressed out, which we all are now, um, when you're having trouble sleeping or you need to calm down. This breathing is very important and will help you in those situations too. So we're going to work on that today as we do at the beginning of every class, but just remember the techniques and use them throughout the rest of your week. So we're going to sit on our chair. Sitting nice and tall, our knees are bent. Our hands are in what we call the resting position. So your palms can be up or your palms can be down, whichever one is most comfortable for you. Sitting up nice and tall and we're gonna work on our breath now. So first thing you should do is put your hand on your belly near your navel. And we're gonna have our hand here because you can feel your belly rise and fall with your breaths. And what we're going to practice is um, our inhalations and exhalations, and they might be a little different than what you usually do the rest of your life breathing, but let's work on it, okay? So your hand on your belly, and when you inhale, your belly fills with air and your belly comes out. And when you exhale, you push your belly in and all the air comes out, okay? So let's work on that. Hand on your belly, inhale. Belly comes out because it gets filled with air. And as you exhale, your belly goes in. Now, breathing both ways, we're gonna breathe through our nose, okay? So we're gonna inhale through our nose and exhale through our nose. So here we go. Inhale, belly goes out. Exhale, belly goes in. Let's try to relax while we do this. Relax. Here we go, inhale, belly goes out. 
Exhale, belly goes in. Let's go ahead and close down our eyes and just pay attention to our breathing. Ignore everything else around you. So here we go. Inhale, belly goes out. Exhale, belly goes in. Your eyes are closed, still doing those breaths. Let's try to breathe as deeply as we can. So here we go. Inhale, fill your belly with air, but keep breathing. Breathe so deeply that you feel your collarbones rise. And then exhale all the air out. Let's do it a few more times. As we're working on those big deep breaths let's try to slow our breathing down so here we go inhale deep breath belly comes out and exhale nice and slow Finally, let's work on making our inhalations and our exhalations equally long. So here we go, hand on your belly, nice deep breath in, belly goes out, deep breath, slow breath, and exhale, and exhale the same amount of time that you breathed in. Wonderful. Now, with your eyes still closed, I'd like you to think of your intention for the day. And your intention is something that you hope to get out of class today. Like, for instance, maybe, maybe you want to gain some strength. Maybe you want to be more flexible. Maybe you want to work on your balance. Maybe you just want to relax and um, just get rid of some of the stress in your day. down to the side and as we inhale we're going to bring our arms up and inhale your intention in for the day deep breath put your palms together at the top and bring your palms down as you exhale so bring your hands down the front as you exhale very good first thing we always do to get our body nice and warmed up are our sun salutations. We do those sitting in the chair. Okay, we're going to go through them three times and we do it on the right and the left each time. So this should be a nice warm up and pay attention to your breath, the breathing that you just practiced while we do these. So we're going to start with our hands down to our sides and as our arms rise up, we're going to inhale. So deep breath as your arms come up, reach as high as you can. Now exhale, and we're going to do a forward fold. So you lean forward, drop your head down, reach towards the floor, and if you can, look under your chair as you exhale. Inhale, and bring one of your knees up. So bring your knee as close to your chest as you can, relax your shoulders, and look up to the sky. Exhale, and bring forehead to your knee. Down slowly. Same thing on the other side. Reach.
reach your arms up, deep breath as you reach overhead. Exhale to forward fold. Breathe all that air out. Hands to the ground, look under your chair. Inhale as you bring the other knee up. Hug it to your body, nice and close. Relax your shoulders, look to the sky. Exhale, your forehead to your knee. Drop your foot down. You've gone through it one time. Here we go on the second time. Inhale, bring your arms high and wide. Deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your waist. All the way down to the ground. Inhale, bring that first knee up again. Relax your shoulders. Hug your knee, look to the sky. Exhale, forehead to your knee. Foot down, arms high and wide. Deep breath. Reach a little higher this time. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, other knee up. Relax your shoulders. Look up. Exhale, forehead to your knee. Foot to the ground. Here we go. Last time around, really pay attention to your breathing this time. So inhale. Exhale. together at the top and exhale your hands down the midline. Very good. You should feel nice and warmed up. Let's have our arms out to the side and do some arm circles. Warm up our arms a little bit more. Opposite direction. sitting in the chair. If you've done yoga before and you can do these poses standing, go ahead, you know, adapt the class to your own needs, just like we adapt all the other poses to our needs. For instance, if you feel pain, don't do that. If it's a really good stretch, you know, do what you can and modify it to suit your own needs. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do these in the chair. Like I said, if you wanna stand, you can go ahead and do that. We're gonna turn to the side and bring the leg closest to the back of the chair. Have, bring it forward here. Have your knee bent and your toe 
facing this direction. Okay? This other leg comes out, you're sitting on the edge of the chair, and comes back. Whatever uh, pose is comfortable for you. You may only get this far. That's okay. You may get this far. In theory, if you were standing, you would be doing this. Okay? But we have the chair, so we're going to be sitting on a chair. So, the back foot, we're going to be pushing back through our heel. Okay? The side of our foot and our heel. Okay? This foot under the bent knee. Now we're going to turn our hips forward. Okay? So we're not like this forward and have our torso nice and tall. So we're looking like this and we're pushing through both feet. Already just doing this, you can feel the strength in your legs. This is a lot harder than it looks. You feel the strength already. So facing forward, we're going to breathe our arms up and bring them back down so that they're level with the floor. Nice deep breaths. And just push through your feet. Let's do this pose for a couple of breaths. Good job. Now we're going to tip forward towards that bent leg and go ahead and bend your elbow, put your forearm on your thigh and continue reaching that arm overhead. Whatever's comfortable for you. You may be here, but reach. See this long line right here? Really reach over your head. Try to relax and push through your feet. If you would like a little more in this position, turn your shoulder back and look towards the sky, really reaching that top arm. You should feel a good stretch up your side and you should feel the strength in your legs. Let's do a couple breaths here. Job. Let's sit up. Back to our arms horizontal. Make sure those hips are forward. Now we're going to tip the other way. So we're going to tip towards that straight leg and reach up in the sky. And if you can, even reach a little farther. Whatever works for you. Pushing through those feet. And if you want a little more, turn your shoulder back and look at the sky. Deep breaths though, you cannot hold your breath. Deep breaths in and out your nose. Good job, arms back level. Deep breath, bring your arms down. And bring those feet to the center. Good job. We'll shake your legs out. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So here we go. Turn to the side. The leg towards the back of the chair is bent. The knee is bent with the foot underneath. Okay. Sitting comfortably on the edge of your chair. You can be hanging on if you want to. This leg comes out. And if you can, get it behind whatever's comfortable for you, so you're pushing through your heel and the side of your foot. And if you can, get it all the way back. So in theory, you'd be standing, okay? Or on the chair. Okay, push through those feet. You can already feel it. Breathe your arms up. Exhale, bring them down level. <coughs> We have our hips turned forward and our torso upright. Push through those feet. Deep breaths in and out your nose. You breathe in, your belly goes out. Out, belly goes in. Good job. Here we go. We're going to 
tip forward towards that bent knee. Bend your elbow. Bring your forearm on the top of your thigh. And reach as far as you can with this arm overhead. Nice deep breaths. If you want a little bit more, tip your shoulder back and look to the sky. Keep reaching and make sure you're not holding your breath. Push through those feet. Good job. Let's sit up. Hips forward, torso tall, arms out. Deep breath. Now we're going to tip back the other way. Tip back, reach to the sky, if you can, make a C shape in your spine, still reaching, and if you want a little more, tip the shoulder back and look to the sky. Make sure you're pushing through your feet. down. Bring those legs forward. And let's shake them out. Ooh, we need to stretch our hips. We're going to do a stretch now that really helps stretch your, your hips and if you have problems with that sciatic nerve. So we're going to cross. You might get a foot over an ankle like this, but the goal is to get your ankle up on top of your thigh like this. If you can only get this far, that's fine. And you might be different on both sides too. You know, one side of your body is always a little more flexible than the other. So the goal is to get your, your ankle up here like this and sit equally through both sit bones. You don't want to be leaning over like this. You want to be sitting up nice and tall. Okay. And you're going to bring the toe that's on the top and pull the toes back towards your top knee. That helps protect your knee. So bring your toes back, sit up nice and tall, hand on your knee, and just gently push down on that knee to open up your hips. Nice deep breaths. Where do you need to relax? Relax your hips. Nice deep breaths. And if you need a little more to the stretch, go ahead and try this. Slightly lean forward. Come forward with like your chest or your chin. Nice deep breaths and relax your hips. Good, let's sit up, bring that foot down, and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So sitting up nice and tall, other side, either here at the ankle, or up on top. As you can see, I'm less flexible on this side. Grab a hold of your toe and pull it towards this knee over here, and your toes back, flex your foot, sitting up nice and tall. Gently push down on that knee. Where do you need to relax? Can you relax your hips a little bit more? Deep breath in, and as you exhale, just relax your hips. If you need a little more to this stretch, come forward with your chest to your chin as you continue to breathe. I have 
have to keep reminding myself to relax. Job. Sit up. Bring that foot down. That feels great. Now sitting on the edge of your chair, you're going to have one knee bent, both hands on that same knee, and then straighten the other one out in front of you. All of our weight's going on the bent knee. We never push on our straight leg like that. You can hurt your knee. So leaning on the bent knee, the foot is straight, the foot is flexed, so the toes are pointing up and lean forward. Each time you exhale, try to go a little further down. So deep breath. Exhale down. Sit up, let's do the same thing on the other side. So this knee is bent, both hands on the bent one, straighten the other one out front, and flex the foot so the toes are pointed up, all of your weight on this bent knee, and come forward. Each time you exhale, try to come a little further forward. Jab, let's sit up. Okay, and now we're going to stand up. But before you stand up, be aware that you could be lightheaded because we were bent over like that. So make sure you know where your chair is before you stand up. So let's go ahead and stand up. Okay, and while we're standing, let's go ahead and get a drink of water. Let's do that real quick. Get your water. Have a step. Make sure you put it out of your way. All right. First thing we're going to do is chair pose. It's also called the lightning bolt. And you can do it facing me. I'm going to do it sideways so that you can see what, what you'll be doing. So there, you can see me there. Our feet are about hip distance apart for good stability. Inhale, our arms up. And we're going to bring our arms around and forward. And as they come forward, we're going to bend our knees and squat down and tip our hips under. So we kind of look like a lightning bolt. We're kind of jagged. Bring those arms up and squat down, whatever's comfortable for you. Let's stand up. Bring those arms overhead again. Reaching. Good job. Here we go again. Exhale, bend those knees, arms come forward, and tuck those hips under. Make sure you're still breathing, no breath holding here. Let's do it one more time. Reach up overhead. Here we go, exhale. Bend your knees. Tuck those hips under. Good job. Let's stand up. Woo! That's a tough one. Now we're going to come behind our chair. And we're going to work on a little bit of balance. So standing behind your, hip, your chair with your feet about hip distance apart. Hanging on to the back of your chair for support. Okay? 
We're going to lift our heels so that we come up on the balls of our feet. Now come on down. Okay, let's do it again. Lift your heels. Now if you think you can, bring a hand off the chair. Or challenge yourself and bring both off the chair. Come on back down. Okay. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Here we go again. Lift your heels. This time, if you can, bring one arm up. If you think you can, bring the other arm up. down, lower your heels. Let's do that last one one more time. Okay, here we go. Lift your heels. Pull one arm up. If you can, bring the other arm up. Bring one arm down. And the other arm down. Good job. Let's come to the side of your chair. I'm going to move mine just so I stay in the middle of the camera here. Okay, we're going to hang on to the chair for balance. And we are going to, first of all, stand on the leg closest to the chair. Okay, and we're going to do a tree pose. So you stand up nice and tall. Okay, and you have options for standing in this position. You can do a little kickstand like this where your toe is on the ground and your heel is on your ankle. Or you can be here. Or you can be all the way up. It's your choice. So today I'll go right here. I'm going to pull my pants up there. It's a little easier. I'm pushing my foot into my leg and pushing my leg back and I'm lifting up. So I'm lifting myself up. I'm hanging on to the chair. And it helps if you find a focal point to stare at, something that's not moving in front of you, and stare at that spot. So here we go. Inhale. If you can, bring your arm out. If you feel you can, bring it up. Nice deep breaths in and out your nose. If you fall out of this pose, that's okay. Just get back in it. Now, if you're feeling very confident and secure today, you might be able to let go of the chair. Just try it. And if you think you can, go ahead and bring your arm up. Stare at your focal point and breathe. job. Let's bring our arms down. All right. Good job. Now let's try the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to move my chair. You don't have to, but I'll move my chair to stay in the center. So we're going to stand on the leg closest to the chair. I'm hanging on to the chair with my hand. You get the choice of a kickstand here or all the way up. I'm going here today. You put your foot on the side of your leg and push into your leg. Have the standing leg push back and lift up. So here we go. Inhale. And if you can, bring your arm up all the way. Whatever's comfortable for you. Standing up nice and tall. Stare at your focal point. And if you think you can, lift up your hand off the chair. And if you can, all the way up.
jab, bring your arms down, bring your leg down, shake your legs out a little bit. While we're standing here, we're going to do a triangle. So you take the leg, uh, the back leg, and point your toe underneath your chair. So it's underneath your chair. Your other foot is about this far out, more, a little more than hip distance. And I'm pushing out through the side and back of my foot, through, so through my heel and the back side of my foot. So my legs are in a triangle here, okay? My hips are facing forward, okay? Bring your arms out to the side, nice and tall, and tip sideways so that you can put your hand on the chair. Now, if you need to bend this front knee a little bit, you can go ahead and do that like this. Or if you can straighten it, go ahead and straighten it. Reach this hand in the sky. Really reach up as high as you can. And push through your feet. Nice deep breaths. Good job. Let's stand back up. Arms level and come down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So, back leg has its toe under the chair pointed this direction, okay? Our other leg is out about this far, and we're pushing through our heel and the back side of our foot. Our hips are forward, standing up nice and tall, arms out to the side, and we're just going to tip forward and put our hand on the chair. Now, if you need to bend this front knee right here, that's okay. So hand on the chair, other arm up in the sky. Really reach up as high as you can. Nice deep breaths. Stand up, bring our arms down, and bring our legs together. Let's come around to the front of our chair. We're going to sit down again, but before you do that, I want you to back up to your chair so you can feel wherever the chair is on the back of your legs so you know where to sit down. Go ahead and have a seat. Now we're going to do the eagle. So we're going to stretch the backs of our shoulders. So you've got your arms like this. You're going to put an elbow inside your other elbow. Um, you may only get this far. That's, that's okay. Wherever you can get. But the goal is an elbow inside an elbow. Like this. Your elbows are up nice and high. And if you can, a little extra, get your palms together. Okay, wherever you are, sit up nice and tall, relax your hips, and just breathe. Job. Let's bring those arms out, shake them out a little bit. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So whatever side you didn't just do, 
And again, you may only get this far. A lot of people are really tight through their shoulders. Goal is to get elbow in an elbow. And then if you can, get your palms together like this and sit up nice and tall. Nice deep breaths. direction. Palms down in your lap. And sitting up nice and tall, just turn your head one direction, as far as it'll go. Back to the front. Other side. Hinge your jaw to relax your face. As you exhale, get rid of all the stress down your torso, all the way to your hips. Relax your legs to your knees, all the way down to your feet. Try to hold your body perfectly still.
fingertips. Take a deep breath. And before you open your eyes, remember your intention for the class. Go ahead, open your eyes, bring your hands down to your side, and inhale your arms up, deep breath, reach as high as you can. When you get to the top, put your palms together, and as you exhale, bring them down the midline of your body. Namaste. I hope you had a good workout. Hope you feel nice and stretched and calm and practice your breathing. It'll really help calm you whenever you're stressed out. And I hope you join me next time for chair yoga from the St. Joseph County COA. And I am Kathy Bingaman. Hope to see you next time. Love y'all. Bye.